I'll be right here. Where are you? Ah, uh, this is nice place. <laughs> very nice. It's a very nice place. What are you standing on? The floor. This marble floor. Oh, it's marble? And what about your feet? What are you wearing? Just, I don't know what it's called in English. They're like little slippers. Oh, very nice. They're, they're so little, but they're like magnets. Excellent. And what are you wearing? Just the garments for the Great Hall. Oh, very good. And can you hold your hands up in front of you? And what color is your skin? Just green. Oh, beautiful. And then the how many fingers do you have? Seven each. Seven each? Yeah. Oh, very nice. And I'd like you to touch your face. This is fluffy. Oh, be <laughs> it's beautiful. <very> fluffy. <laughs> beautiful. If you look behind you, there's actually some type of mirror reflection. You can actually see your entire self. Could you turn and tell me what your whole personage looks like? Um. Uh, <laughs> whoa. Um, it's very hard to explain. I have trouble seeing the whole image. Oh, very good. That's okay. And just tell me, where are you at? Where did you say you were? The Great Hall. Ah, a great hall. And I want you to look at the marble floor ahead of you, in front of you. Turn back around and just follow it along, follow your eyes along the floor and describe everything ahead of, in front of you. Um, well, the first thing I see is the dome as I landed, the, the, where uh, the people come through and this place is important for the planet Earth. Can you repeat that again? It's a very important place for planet Earth, this place, this oh, where planet. I'm at. Oh, very good. And you say it's an important place for the planet Earth. Is that correct? Uh-huh. All right. And what do the people that were coming out, what do they look like? How are they? Beautiful. I love these people. They're so wonderful. How tall are they or how short? Or are they all the same? No. Can you they're, tell me anything? They're, there's green and blue and red and light, light, light frequency. Oh, very nice. So let's go ahead and go forward. Is there some type of entrance into this domed place? Uh, yeah. And what about the, uh, is, is the doorway, is it arched? Yeah. Oh, very good. And how tall is it? Very tall. 25 feet. Oh, good. I can see that. Are any of the entities that tall? Yes. No, no, not 25 feet, no. Okay, very good. And let's just go ahead. Someone is going to greet you after you walk through the main entrance. And just tell me who comes forward to greet you. The head counselor. Ah, oh, very good. He's and very, very kind. Very good. You say he's very kind? Yes. Ah, oh, good. And just as you're there, before you go any further, could you ex uh, describe this one then, please? Who? The uh, one that greeted you. Very warm hands. Ah, oh, beautiful. And uh, does he have a physical form or is he more of a light entity? <laughs> he has the ability to change form. Oh, very good. If you just ask him, say, could you take a form uh, that I could just describe? <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> oh, very good. He will change form for you. Oh, good. And, Do you and want to know his name? Yes, please. Chulfard Elohim. Ah, oh, very good. And before he takes you with the rest of the council, ask him what is the name of this council? Joris, um, join, joined connections at the, uh, one moment. 
joined planet frequency um so it is uh drain drains um and just take a long slow deep breath and stay with me and this place release. is called the council headquarters oh uh, very very good very good. And the form that this entity has taken, what does the what form is does he hold now? Golden, Golden hair. hair. Beautiful. Cat's Cat. face. Lion face. Excellent. And ask the form or ask him if I can't pronounce his name or its name. Uh, does he know what you are doing with Hank? So, so, um, just listen to whatever he says, whatever the entity that me greeted you, ask them literally point blank. Does he know what you and Hank are doing? <laughs> um, very good. What does he say? I, I, I'm very feeling very inferior to him. That's okay. If they come and they allow you, they greet you. He greeted you warmly, didn't he not? Yes. Answer me. And he took your hand, did he not? Not yet. Okay. And you said, but did he offer his hand to you? Yes, I'm very shy about it, though. I don't feel comfortable because I'm not at his level. Well, we're all one in the end. And I want you to be brave, and you're totally protected and safe. And I want you to take a long, slow, deep breath, and I want you to feel his love and his acceptance of you. Because this place is filled with love and acceptance. Much nicer, huh? Yes, he's a funny lion type of person. Oh, very good. And I think if you take yeah. his hand... He will really raise your vibration. So by the time you meet the rest of the council, you'll have no problem whatsoever understanding and, and accepting your uh, where you are and what you're doing. And go ahead and take his hand. He, he, whatever he's doing, I'm I'm uh, now turning into a different form. Uh, Very good. Go ahead and just <sighs> transplant. What um, my entire form has changed, and it is blue now. Excellent. I have women's hands, about five fingers. Ah, uh, excellent. Um, it is some kind of experiment. He's he's the uh, change change change. Uh, I cannot explain it in English. It is a change in form that is demonstrating to the people. How his abilities work. Mm. Oh, very good. And let's go ahead and have him enter the council. Or are you already in front of the council? We are. And what type of arrangement are you in? Where are they at compared to where you are? We're on the standing platform. The light from the top, but it's not on us. The people are on both sides, more on the right, because on the left there are windows. Beautiful. Can you see out those windows? Yes, I can. It is a globe-shaped building high in the sky that you have to have ability to get there. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Excellent. And then on, and what do the, are these council members in the uh, bleachers or in these seats? Yes, many, many, many beings of them are there. And you said earlier this was the, you call the name of this place. Could you repeat that again? The headquarters. Headquarters for the councils. Uh, headquarters for the councils. And I'd like you to address so he was actually making a presentation with you then, is that correct? Yes. Ah, oh, very good. Now I want you to ask him, what is the reason behind um, the presentation that he just did? And because you just arrived there. He's observing the dynamics of the behind your earth is this green planet. 
that is multidimensional and you have to change your form to get to that planet. Oh, very good. So I have to allow for changing to heaven. Um, I have to change form to get to the green planet. And so you change from the entity with the seven fingers, the blue entity, female entity, and now you must change again, or are you complete in your transformation? I am very close to completing it. Oh, very good. And just allow it to happen. Do you have you find with the transformation? Yes, I like that. Oh, very good. Totally from protected. And while you were going through the transformation, could you uh, ask them some questions? And I want you to present that to them. May I ask questions, please? How do I ask the question to people? Well, what I'd like you to do is if you to verbally ask out loud or you can telepathically. I prefer that you ask verbally out loud because then you will get it back as such. So if you can ask, ask, now they told you where you were, correct? It's all me that I know that. I'm not used to communicating in front of the people. Oh, uh, that's okay. But this is something new. And you had a desire to have this experience. And so here we are. Yes. And you're totally protected. And I'm there with you. I want you, if you look back behind you, you'll see me back there. <laughs> you see me? Yes. Do you? Yes. What do I look like? You look like yourself. Oh, very good. But you are levitating. Excellent. So don't worry. I can get you back home in, with the three clicks of your heels. So you're totally safe and protected. And just go ahead and ask them, do you know what you and Hank are doing? What you and Hank are doing? Verbally out loud or send a telepathic message. They'll respond. Well, just tell them, say, I'm bilocating from the earth right now. Any response at all? Uh, I'm, um, uh, um, okay. Um, I finished the transformation, so I, oh, I have to, I have to, uh, I have to, uh... And once again, take a long, slow, deep breath and feel the relaxation move through the... What you do? They want to know about what is Earth like and why are there so many arguments on Earth and... I don't like to talk about the painful experiences that happens on the planet Earth, but it is my job. So you're giving a report, is this correct? I do. Oh, very good. And can you just give them the simple answer? Earth is in a low vibration, uh, low vibrational uh, density right now, making a change. Some hope. Oh, good. And go ahead make a presentation then. I move my hand and that shows the letters of the light to explain to them our language why they will know after I uh, write it on a grade screen. So writing it. Hmm. So do you realize that you're actually on this console? Yes. And that you're actually, so I take it that uh, one of them must, could you stop your presentation? And uh, we want to stop the presentation just for a moment. So uh, I can guide you this. And we're going to take over this experience. Do you mind? Not at all. 
Oh, very good. And I'd like you to, the, uh, the entity that greeted you, is he still holding your hand or standing next to you? He is on the platform behind me. Oh, very good. And I want you to make a presentation to them. Say, ladies, or I don't know how you would address them. Say, council members. Yes. I am bilocating from the earth in a guided visualization session with Hank. Literally, exactly what I said. Present that to them. This is not your normal arrival that you do at night every night. They are understanding. Ah, uh, very good. And so you had a desire to meet some of these councils and see face to face some of the work that you do in these scenarios. So here you are and you had a few questions and could you please clarify a few things first before you go any further and what is their response? They will answer your questions, Hank. Ah, oh, very good. First of all, are they familiar with Hank? Of course. Ah, oh, good. And when you say, of course, just for, not for my sake, but for Krista's sake, could you explain to Krista who I am and uh, how we come to be together to do what we're doing right now? They want you to understand that they walk with us here on Earth, and you are contacted by a council of life. And how was I uh, connected with Krista to bring her in, in this manner to them? One of you, uh, one of your friends for, for love is all that is happening. We don't understand the problems on earth you are helping us to understand. The friends would uh, come to you and connect us. That is what happened. Ah, oh, very good. And this particular council, being the headquarters of councils, the Orion Council, Krista, is she, could you tell her to her face, is she on the Orion Council? What, when, when she is a presence, she is working with Orion Council. 